I'm trying something new this year. I found a company that offers both traps and lures. Um, this is the Preda Lure, so it lures in ladybugs, lace wings to feed on pests in the garden. So I'm going to put that in. There is a um, pheromone in here that attracts them, so it comes in this little pouch. Take it out, hang it in a, an area where you need it. I also picked up a cucumber beetle trap. I have two of those out here. I picked up a cucumber beetle trap. A squash vine borer moth trap and a coddling moth oriental fruit moth trap. They ship in this green bag, which I thought was a lot of fun because then he knew it was at my door. I just put cucumber seeds in the ground, so very soon I'll be putting this one out. My squash are already up out of the ground. I'm going to be planting more soon, so the vine borers will be here any second. So I'm going to put this one out. And I'm having trouble with my apple tree, so I'm going to try this for the coddling moths that I believe are in my apple tree. It's the same situation. It is a pheromone. I have this one open. So there are instructions. You simply open the trap, you slide in the pheromone, and you hang it in the area where you have the item growing. And so here is the one lure. And then these are the diamond traps. Fold the pieces apart and then fold the ends inward so it keeps its shape, it says. So, looks like this. And you put the lure inside. So I'm gonna do the next one. So, they come folded. You unfold them and then sticky part apart and then there is a little perforation down here at the bottom disconnect that and then fold it inward which is probably the part I had the hardest time with there okay and then the other side so, that is two traps ready to be hung. Coddly moth and a squash vine borer. So one will go in each. I actually don't know what these look like. Okay, I have a scissors. Instructions. It says place the lure inside diamond trap and hang three to four feet away from garden plot at two to three feet of height. Use one trap with lure per 150 square feet. Replace one filled with moths or dirty. Deploy in early spring. Use throughout the season. They last for eight weeks depending on temperature. Put it in the bottom of the trap. So then I need to get out the cattle moth lure. Really hope these have different colors or something so I know that they're different. And we'll go put this in the tree. Okay, so it says... Maintain a foliage free space 12 to 18 inches around the trap. Never hang trap below the canopy or closer than 4 feet above ground. So 4 feet would be me. So I'm going to need to clear some space around here. Okay. So there it is in the tree. May it be fruitful. Let's go put up the other one. So there is where this one ended up, just using a tomato cage to get to the right height. And then hang it on the tomato cage with a lure inside. So I'll keep an eye on these to make sure that I'm not catching other insects and see if we can catch some of these guys. My nemesis, squash vine borers. 